Hello, it's Jay here and welcome to another lesson in our dynamic weather tutorial. In this lesson, we're just going to get a few simple things in place first before we continue on to flesh out the rest of the script. So let's go ahead and do that. And what we're going to do is create five public variables. They're going to be of type particle system. And the first one we'll just call underscore some clouds particle system. And we'll close the line off and we'll put into comments so we'll say create slot in inspector to assign our sun cloud system and once we have that in place we can just copy this four times so one two three and four and we're just going to swap out the variable so in this one it's going to be thunderstorm in the next one it's going to be mist overcast and finally snow and we'll just tidy up the comments and we'll just alter them where it's applicable so here thunderstorm and again through for each one so mist overcast and again finally snow okay we have our five variables in place so we can assign particle systems within unity itself so let's go through this script when we first begin and this script starts it's going to come here to pig weather now on startup we don't want any particle system playing because it's automatically going to switch out to one of these blocks and it's in these blocks where we actually going to activate this particle system and it's also when the counter runs down and it comes back to pick weather of course we want the previous one to stop so again it makes sense for us to disable all our particle systems every time the script comes to this block so I'm going to do it here before my switch case block and we just need to go through and do it for each one so the first one is we call our particle system so some clouds particle system dot enable emission and it's going to be equal to false and we'll close the line off and as always into the comments so we'll say disables our sun clouds particle system and just like at the top we can copy this four times and again we will just switch out the variable so thunder and then we want mist overcast and finally snow and let's just bring our comments back into line and again just as before we'll just switch out the uh, comment so two more times for overcast and again finally snow now we'll save this off here now you may want for example to have two particle systems playing at one time for example thunder you may want thunder clouds plus the rain itself 
and that's fine just put in another public variable up here disable it here as we have done for the others and then when we get round to filling out these blocks you just enable both within your Thunder Weather system or function should I say here and it really is that simple now I'm not going to do any more in this lesson I'm going to leave it here because I want to spend a complete lesson when we come to filling out these blocks and we'll probably need to get some more variables into place before we can get round to fleshing out these functions but as always we will get round to it eventually and I hope you enjoyed this lesson I hope to see you again next time and until then bye for now